The next operation we're going to show you on the LB25 is how to remove and insert new tool block holders into the turret. First thing to note that in the control, in the manual mode, you have down here tool index. Each time you push that, the turret moves one position. If you hold it in, it'll move multiple until you let it out. Let's take a look. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how to remove a tool holder. In position number 12 at the moment, we've got a Sandvik C and MP holder. Remove this two turns, and on the center insert, go ahead and turn this in. It'll pop off this tool block. It'll allow you to come off the taper. This is a Sandvik C and MG holder but it's specific for the 80 degree inserts, except it's going to use the 100 degree face only. So this gives you an extra four points of the insert to be able to use for face roughing only. So I'll usually keep that in tool number 12, and the CNMG 80 degree insert for roughing both face and OD in tool number one. That's typical. So insert tool holder, take the center, set screw and screw it out so that it doesn't hit. Holding this tool in, go ahead and tighten the larger elements evenly. Tighten firmly by hand. When you finish tightening, remember, this is important, the center set screw needs to be done. Screw it in until it's good and firm. Don't over tighten. What that does is keep that center insert, which is used for popping the block open, keeps that insert from falling out. And then we can hit the tool index if we want to change the next tool the same way or insert a tool. Face tools, what I have in here right now is a 100 degree face only. That can be replaced with the 80 degree if you don't have room for enough tools. We've got a CNMG um, 80 degree. That's for both facing and roughing. And then number two, I've got a TNMG uh, for finish tools. Now remember, those can go next to each other because they're out of the way and they're the same distance from the face within a few thousands. When it comes to ID tools, that's boring bars, drills, ID threading. The larger the part diameter that you have, the more critical this is that you generally do not use tool block holders. I have them in here just for shipping when we, we ship the machine back to the customer, but normally every other one would be missing so that you've got some space between the boring bars so that when you're doing an operation, the other one doesn't hit the part or more importantly, the chuck. As well as when we set boring bars or any kind of ID tooling, the distance we call extended from the face of here to the end of the boring bar. As an example, if we were to have this ID rougher in here, the distance from here to the face basically needs to be exactly the distance from here to here, so they're setting out the same. There's less opportunities for it to hit the chuck when you're doing ID machining. And we'll show you how to set that up in just a little bit.